Do you guys remember that scene in the first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire when he's upside down and he's kissing Mary Jane? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so I've heard a lot of mixed things about this box right here. I've heard good, I've heard bad. I heard the pop is an old style one that's really good. And I've heard a lot of complaints. I heard a lot of people say this box was not good. I don't know how I managed not to see any spoilers yet, but I have. So that's crazy. I'm not gonna let any of that get to me. Everyone that said it was bad, everyone that said it was good, I'm not gonna let any of that get to me. I will be the judge of what I think about this box right here. So let's see if I like it. So when you open this one up, you have some Spider-Man comics swinging on some webs through the city. Being Spider-Man, Spidey-Man. And this is a, this is more of the uh, new style comic print right here. I don't see any old style, but I heard there's old school Spider-Man stuff in here. Right there, you have the pin and the patch. So let's check those out. Right there, you have the patch and I am a fan. I like the patch. The patch looks really awesome. I mean, it's classic Spider-Man looking. There's nothing too fancy about it. Good patch. Very good patch. All right, there is the pin and the pin is good. It's Spider-Man. So nothing too crazy uh, as far as the design for the patch and the pin. I like it. I like the design. I'm a fan of the pin and the patch. I like the pin and the patch. Now we have to no, I can't wait. I'm really excited about this box. I've been waiting on it. Keep hearing all these things about it. There's a hat. We'll take out the wearable. So there's no shirt? Or is there a shirt too? All right, so <laughs> it's a Funko Pop though. So of course it's a Funko Pop because this is a Funko box, but this is a very classic looking hat, but it's got the Funko Pop Spider-Man on the front and it has the Spidey symbol on the back. Pop right there on the side, not Spider-Man colors. You got this Heather Gray and dark blue. And then on the bottom, you have Marvel. Here is a closer look. You have Marvel pop on the bottom. And right there is the front of the hat. Pop symbol, Spidey symbol, boom. And that's what you look like with this hat on. It's no Nightwing hat, but it'll do. It looks all right. I don't wear hats though, so there's gonna be some hats in the in the giveaways coming up. Um, I'm not gonna keep that on, but it's an okay hat. It's okay, but I'm not a hat guy, so one of you guys that buy hats out there, let me know, is this an awesome hat? So next item, is this a mug? <laughs> is it, what is, what? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Fabrications Spider-Man Soft Sculpture by Funko. So it's like a harder material, like a harder fabric plush. On the back, as you can see, it says features, high quality fabrics, head articulation, embroidered detailing, vinyl accessories, flat bottom feet for easy display. So you can even stand this guy up. Spider-Man 32, Marvel Collector Core exclusive. Do you guys think this is like the new collectible? Do you think it'll catch on? Um, I could see it catching on. I could see some people collecting them because it is a higher, it is, it's it's high quality fabric in there you can tell it's very sturdy fabric and it's still it's still squeezable but it's not soft you don't cuddle with this thing when you go to bed it's not a teddy bear i don't know what to think about that that's the first one i've ever gotten but i'm kind of neutral on it it's a good size and it's not it's like a plush Funko Pop, but bigger of course next item i think we have a comic so Oh, I think this is the 16th variant edition of this comic. Right there, you have the comic. And this is the Amazing Spider-Man. Next, I think it's gonna be the Funko Pop. I think it's time for the Funko Pop. Let's see, what does it look like? What does that, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's an action-posed Spider-Man, so yes, I do like that. Action-posed Spider-Man. Um, yep, I like it. I do. You were right. Whoever said I was gonna like this, you were right. Oh, God. That was so close. Spidey, are you okay?
That's probably going in the bloopers. There he is right there. This is, yeah, more of the classic Spider-Man, it looks like. Was classic Spider-Man's eyes like that? I thought the new Spider-Man had the eyes like that. Yeah, it does. So right here is both of them. Of course, the one on the left is the action posed one. I mean, this one's kind of action posed too, but this is the one from, from the box. Their eyes look the same. I thought the new Spider-Man, his eyes looked that way, but his outfit is a little different. Like he has the black uh, fabric on his body, like his arms and his leg. This Spider-Man doesn't. So I think this is more of the classic Spider-Man. And this is the Civil War or the new Amazing Spider-Man. Action, posed, Spidey, right there. I love the pop. I love the pop. The box is worth it to me because the pop is really good. And that's the main point of these boxes, honestly, is the Funko Pop. The other stuff is extra. Now, yes, you pay, what is it, 30, 31, 32, around, around $30 for this box. But the Funko Pop is the main thing. If you like the Funko Pop, I think you, you win. But let's talk about the items and let's get pricing. All right, guys, so pricing. Here we go, here we go. The hat exclusive uh good quality i'm not too crazy about the the colors or the funko pop on the front so i'm gonna give it 15 if it was a really awesome hat that i liked i probably would give it 20 but 15 because it's still a good hat the funko pop 20 of course so we're at 35 uh the fabrications i've never seen them just looking at it though i would say 15 dollars is what i think that it would go for about the price of a Funko Pop. So we're at 50. The patch, I'll give five dollars. Love the patch, the patch is awesome. And the pin, three dollars. So that's eight, that's fifty-eight dollars. The comment, we're gonna give five dollars. So fifty-eight plus five, sixty-three. So per my calculations, this box is about sixty-three dollars. So we can estimate I'd say about sixty to seventy dollars is the worth of everything in this box. That's what I would give it though. Those are my values. Okay, in the end, what I thought about this box. I don't think it was I don't think it was a bad box. It was not a bad box in my opinion. I much rather have this fabrication like plush that they're doing than those reaction action figure things like I hate those. This I can deal with. Like this I can give to someone or I would keep this. This is okay. The hat not so much but I think it's just because of the style and the colors. I think you could have done a more traditional red, black and blue for Spider-Man's colors. This tether gray, I don't know. It doesn't suit Spider-Man. So the hat was the hat was a fail for me. It's okay. It's still an okay item. In my opinion, this box is still good. You got you got your comic like you always get. The Funko Pop was good. I like the Funko Pop. The fabrication wasn't bad. Like usually you we've been getting like those uh reaction figures. The, the I hate those. <laughs> That means that everyone that was saying that the box sucked and wasn't good, I don't agree with you. I think it was still a good box, but the hat, not so much. I like the pop. The fabrication is okay. Like, I don't hate it. It's just an okay item. And the comic was good, so I'm happy. I think you guys might be a little too picky out there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but that was my opinion. I, I really want to know what you guys thought. I don't know if everyone out there has seen this box be opened. You probably have because I get my boxes late. But um, I, I want to know what you guys thought of the box overall. So comment below what you thought of the box. What was your favorite item? What was your least favorite? Of course, favorite for me, the pop. Least favorite, the hat. And if they would have had a shirt, that would have been awesome. But yeah, comment below. Maybe they, maybe Marvel Collector Core looks at some of these videos sometime on YouTube. So your opinion and your thoughts on the boxes might get seen by them. And that's kind of the, one of the goals of this channel is to get everyone's voices heard on these, these subscription boxes and ideas out there. So maybe the companies will see it and they'll listen. That would be cool. But yeah, that's it guys. That was the unboxing. I enjoyed it. Hope you guys did too. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Marvel Collector Core Spider-Man.